So with the introduction of Stealth Camo and the mechanic that it utilizes for stealth, I've come to realize that Ubisoft Paris is not far off from being able to create the proper mechanic for a camouflage system in Ghost Recon. For those of us who are old enough to have played Metal Gear Solid 3, Hideo Kojima was one of the first developers that I know of to allow the player to change the type of camel fatigues they were wearing to match the terrain around them, which would then affect the enemy AI's ability to see you. It was an actual camouflage system and it was revolutionary for the time. Now the Ghost Recon community has been pleading with Ubisoft Paris to get Ghost Recon in line with becoming a more realistic tactical shooter and to move away from the arcade type design flow. For instance, a tiered loot gear system in Ghost Recon Breakpoint was a step in the wrong direction with how gear should work in this franchise. Many people have voiced their concerns over the direction Ubisoft Paris was taking Ghost Recon in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Arbitrary stats that gave you a buff to certain categories like stamina or accuracy. Nothing that actually made sense for this franchise. Players were outspoken that they would rather pick and choose the gear that they wear and that affect their character in-game. Wearing less gear overall would provide a more agile and quick character with better mobility, but in turn, you would have less ammo, less items, and would die faster in a firefight if shot. Wearing heavy attack gear would ensure you have less stamina as your character would feel heavier. You'd run slower, but in turn, you would be a little more beefy in a firefight and be able to take more rounds and survive. I discussed and broke down how a system like this would work, and I'll provide that link for any of you who would like to see it above. Moving forward, players want the same thing in a camouflage system. If you're out in the forest and the terrain is a green woodlands area, then that type of camo and similar camouflage patterns should have an effect on the enemy AI and their ability to see the player. If you're traversing the snowy terrain of Silent Mountain in Ghost Recon Breakpoint, and you equip all white camouflage to hide yourself from enemy detection, it should affect the enemy and how quick they see you, depending on character stances and movement, like prone, crouch, standing, running. Wear the wrong camouflage and the enemy AI will have an easier time spotting the player. Now I've given Ubisoft the benefit of the doubt that this technology was not available to them at this time, and they would have to work at creating it if we were to have it. However, this fundamental core component of this mechanic is now in-game. The optic camouflage is very close and could be transformed into this type of camouflage system. If the player is allowed to use the optic camo, and at that point the enemy AI cannot see that player depending on the level of the camouflage at that time, this means that this camouflage technology is somewhat already there for Ubisoft Paris to tweak so that instead of the player pressing a button and the enemy AI not seeing them, the player should be able to pick a camel pattern and if that camel pattern matches the terrain, then the enemy AI should have a delayed time spotting the player. So now the question is, will Ubisoft ever get to a point where they realize there are some fundamental mechanics that this franchise needs, and if these mechanics become a top priority moving forward, they would be one of the only developers in this industry creating a tactical shooter in this fashion. Ubisoft Paris has the ability to showcase that they know what it takes to revolutionize the tactical shooter genre. No tiered loot and gear score, no blossoming trees with loot boxes. Create a gear system that showcases how you could develop a game to allow the player to pick their loadout and that loadout has an effect in the game world with how their character moves and operates. Showcase a camouflage system that is not found in any other game at this time. Ubisoft could stand alone in a market filled with shooters that relatively all play the same, proving they know what it takes to create a tactical shooter with the Tom Clancy name, putting to notice the entire gaming industry that Ubisoft is back to making games that create and mold the genre and not chase trends trying to replicate other games within it. So, Ghosts, would you prefer to have your Ghost Recon game utilize a camouflage system that provides a more realistic game environment? A game that pushes you to wear the proper camouflage in the proper setting to ensure that you could deter enemy AI detection? Let me know in the comments below what you think of a system like this. And if you think Ubisoft Paris recognizes that they have the opportunity to push this game in this direction, 
given the fact that Optic Camo is not far off in providing this type of system. Alright ghosts, that's all for now. Everyone have a great day and I will see you all in the next video. Alright guys, peace.